me show you a couple of things of LHCM controller which you should be interested in. So first of all, metallic brackets on the breaker, not like the plastic breaking ones on the WWS. So this is good, this is very good. Uh, now take a look how everything is neatly and nicely organized. What kind of uh, bar uh, do we have for connections used here on the entry? Right, so I mean, this is something. This is really good. And by the way, in my case, I have the no solar version. As you may clearly see, there is no solar uh, terminals, only for battery and only for wind. Because it, well, it makes like it ten bucks cheaper, so whatever. And I don't plan to use any solar, so why? Uh, it just cost me like to write one message to exclude solar from there. And I mean, uh, obviously you will not be able to tell the difference if this one is buck or boost or buck and boost. Uh, they literally visually are kind of similar to anyone who isn't knowing, but this one is buck and boost. So just trust me. I've already measured the resistance. It's, it's 0 0.7 ohm, but you have to know, you have to understand that this controller applies the power very gradually. It doesn't really like pushes the turbine and, and, and gets everything into it uh, that it has. I mean, so this is really good thing. Now the blades, and this is where the interesting part, part, part comes. So this is the 3.46 blades. This is how they were supplied. I already took out one. Uh, and well, I mean, this is the standard blades, which are for FT2500 or 2500. Um, and I mean, why I'm showing you this? Because well, well, this is this is really really important thing to know. So, 25.5 or maybe even 26 uh, centimeters is the widest part of it, 